Are you ready? Check your reality. The comments and opinions of this program may be considered offensive. Viewer discretion is advised. Uncommon Sense is now available for your listening convenience on Anchor.fm. Anchor allows our podcast to be available on more platforms. Click a link in the description below to connect to your favorite listening app and stream Uncommon Sense today. Thank you for your listening and supporting our show. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and lay a smack down on that notification bell to get notified anytime we post new content. Thanks again from your hosts at Uncommon Sense. Hello and welcome back to Uncommon Sense. I am Billy. And I am Butch. What are we going to talk about, Butch? We're going to talk about the new, just recently passed, and now in effect, Texas abortion ban that the news is all up in arms about, but nobody seems to read it. So, do we want to read the articles first, or the... Well, the bill itself. Well, let's start off with the bill itself. It's, uh, what is it, uh, SB number 8, Senate Bill number 8. SB 8. And what is and it also is known as? Legiscan bringing people to the process. And what is it, what? Also known as the Texas Heartbeat Act. Yes. It says, be it enacted by the legislature of the state of Texas, section 1. This act shall be known as the Texas heartbeat act goes on in section two to say the legislature finds that the state of texas never repealed either expressly or by implication the state statutes enacted before the ruling in roe versus wade 410 us 1973 1973 that prohibit and criminalize abortion unless the mother's life is in danger Section 3 is really long. It gives all the details. Yeah, it's for people that don't have common sense to read it for themselves so they understand it. And they even broke it down what each biological term means. Mm -hmm. So if you have a, a serious, you know, well, I don't know what that means. They include the definition of what it means in this instance, in this act. They are very specific in here. So basically, if the mother's life is... Am I understand this right? If the mother's life isn't in danger, there is no reason for them to have an abortion. Right. Is they can have an saying. abortion up to six weeks, you know, and that's under certain circumstances, whether mm -hmm. the mother's life's in danger or it could be a danger to the child or the mother. Mm -hmm. So... Okay, just making sure I'm understanding. Yes, right. there's medical reasons for it. Bill title relating to abortion, including abortions after detection of an unborn child's heartbeat, authorizing a private civil right of action. And to break it on down, what it's actually meaning is that if somebody does uh, perform an abortion, you have the right to sue that person, whereas before, you didn't. Also, the person that performed the abortion can be held criminally liable for their actions. I, I applaud Texas. Mm -hmm. they're, I do too. They're for life. I am against abortion myself. And before today, we've never talked about we've abortion. We've never talked about abortion before, so. So, I disagree with abortion as well. If it's got a heartbeat, it's alive. Exactly, and it's not... A, uh, what's the, uh, term they used? Uh, something to, in, that's inside you that's a parasite. Parasite? Yeah, they've been calling them parasites. Wow. Well, it's like the TikTok videos and crap like that that's going around that, that makes a joke of pregnancy. Uh, there was one that went pretty viral that was this chick crying and showing her, uh, pregnancy test. Oh, what am I going to do? Blah, blah, blah. Acting like she's crying. And then she starts laughing and says, Oh, just kidding. I already made the appointment. And throws it behind her. Babies are a joke to them. Right. Life is you a joke to them. You were a baby once. You realize that, right? Right. Yeah, they don't realize that. Imagine. You know, that. and from my, from my personal point of view, I can understand 
the rape thing, but I think there needs to be a different process for women who have experienced that sort of tragic thing. They need in that they in need guidance are... afterwards. Right. They need psychoanalysis and a breakdown of what they're going through. Right, because it's a trauma experience. And this should happen before they even know for sure if they're pregnant. Right. And start talking to them about if you are pregnant, what that means. Right. And break that down for them. Because you don't know what that child's going to grow up to be. It could be the next Nikola Tesla. Yeah. Or, you know, Thomas Albert, Jefferson. Albert Einstein. William Wallace. Yes. It, it, it could be the next person that might have the cure for cancer it could be the next i don't know i mean you don't you just don't know you don't know it could be the next mickey mantle you know great baseball player the next edward snowden <laughs> could we need be more the, of those yeah we need more edward snowdens who's the other guy the british guy oh uh you're talking about julian assange yeah julian assange well, yeah he was british huh no he was no he's he, french his, he was from Holland. Sounds French. Oh, that's okay. That makes sense. Yeah, he's from Sweden, or something or, like no Holland. Holland. Uh, Holland is Dutch. So he is Dutch. I know somebody who's Dutch. I know some people that are Dutch actually too. Well, usually like, on the first are, yeah, date, I always go Dutch. I always went stag. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I figured we go in half. I'm like, I was stag. I said that the other day. <laughs> These kids looked at me. I was like, you know, that's what we used to say back in the nineties. <laughs> All right, back to the, the article at hand here. So we've got an article here from the Texas Tribune. And I'm not going to butcher the name, so I'm not even going to read that. But the title here reads, Governor Greg Abbott signs into law one of the nation's strictest abortion measures, banning procedure as early as six weeks into a pregnancy. Now, I want to take this apart for a minute, if you don't mind. Go ahead. If we take out the emotional words there, Starting from into law, or no, starting from one of the nation's strictest abortion measures. Let's just take that out, and it would read, Governor Greg Abbott signs into law a bill banning procedure as early as six weeks into pregnancy. Right. That doesn't sound so bad now, does it? No. It's like, okay. Right. This is what's happening. But What are the details? That is what news is supposed to be. That's what it's supposed to be. I, I was in journalism. Oh, look at that. Oh, I was no. in journalism. I learned how to write stuff like this for my school. The closest I got to journalism is I used to be a paper delivery boy. See, you were the process after I wrote the story. There we go. And you know what? What's I that? passed that class with flying colors. And we could not use things like that. Right. We couldn't put opinions. Yeah. We had to state facts. There was an opinion section. Right. That's so, where opinions went. Yeah. Yeah. Letters to the editor. And right. That just really bugs me. Right. That because a, that's how they word things these days. Yeah. And it's to, to put a narrative. Emotionally attach you to the event. You know. Let's see. Is it the strictest abortion measures? No, not really. Because they had a restrictor back in 1964. Yeah. It was. You couldn't yeah. have one. Exactly. Period. End of story. Right. It was against the law. Against the law. So a lot of people used to go to back alleys, get the clothes hanger treatment. And or, you know. Get infections. Go over the border. No, go over the border, go get it done down there at a third of the price. But come home with, uh, you know, a sombrero and a couple mucks and Mexican jumping beans. So. So, on that note, Bette Midler advises women to... Refuse to have sex with men in protest of Texas abortion. Oh my. Let's see, we're talking about Bette Midler here. I think the best thing about her was when she the was... The movie in, Hocus Pocus? Yeah, because it came to the real life her. Her and Biden have something in common there. I smell children. Right? You know, so it's like... And they got just, just, Sarah Jessica Parker over here <laughs> singing them into the... <laughs> Okay. I mean, she's 75 so, years old, isn't she? I don't know, something like that. So, let's so, see, if she's 75, me, though, who's really going to want to, I mean, go down on that muffin? It's like cobwebs. Okay, but for real. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she so, uses that. What gets me so. is <laughs> refuse to have sex in protest of an abortion law. 
Right. Now, think about how ridiculous that sounds. Oh, yeah. If you weren't out there doing this Everything. every weekend and having no control over yourself, kind of like, you know, people that drink too much and then scream rape in the morning. Right. Like, who does that? Yeah. You know, back in the day... Well, so, that sheep did say she was 18, This makes me sound old, so. but, you know, it wasn't so long ago right. that you go out for a drink, you drink too much, that was your fault. Now right. it's the bartender's fault. Right. And okay. Why is and then, it? So you got inebriated enough to go home with some random person, and now you're mad. But instead of, oh, what does everything seem to boil down to these days? Self accountability. If you had yep. self accountability, you would. And for those that don't understand what self accountability <laughs> is, just it's my responsibility mind for one's own actions. I and mean, Ronald Reagan said it best when he said that we must. Leave for the real. percept that society is guilty for an action and instead of the one man who performed the action. Sorry, I'm just like over here all baffled. It, it gets to me. The yeah. idiocracy of it, it people. Is, oh, a serious idiocracy out there. It's like, why didn't you just not have sex beforehand and we wouldn't even be here? Uh, Learn you know, to control yourself. If, if you can control yourself that much right there and you can abstain, why haven't you? Because you can't you control did, you your own body, your own emotions. If you were being responsible. Right. There's too many people out there on TikTok that, uh, and YouTube and other social media sites that are just broadcasting and, and glorifying in the number of abortions they've had. One mm -hmm. gal said she had 27 and she feels great. She, oh, I know. It's she like, doesn't it's feel like guilty at all. Now. Yeah. It's, it's the new fad. Right. What kind of disgusting fad kills babies yeah yeah kills an innocent life right and yet some of these are the same people that turn around and freak out because because <laughs> go ahead say it don't be shy because people eat veal <laughs> yeah like, because you drink milk they're like how dare you like you don't even understand what a cow goes through if you don't milk it they, exactly you've never even seen a cow yeah or the people that won't eat eggs right. because they think it harms the chicken. If yeah. you don't eat that egg, it just rots. And it so goes to waste. Now you've wasted a perfectly good egg. That's food and nutrition. That's high in protein for you. And, and I su strongly suggest it for some of you out there that don't prefer your protein and other methods. <laughs> like grasshoppers. <clears throat> grasshoppers. So, Chocolate covered <laughs> grasshoppers. Ooh. Chocolate covered grasshoppers. I've heard those With are really raisins. good. But anyway, so Looks Ben Middler like is one bar. of many celebrities who's using their platform to condemn the highly restrictive anti-abortion law that went into effect this week in Texas. Yep, she is 75. She says, I suggest that all women refuse to have sex with men until they are guaranteed the right to choose by Congress. You have the right to choose. You have the right to choose responsibility, self-accountability, for your own actions. Keeping those feet together. Yeah. You know, I, I, I tell you what, here's the cheapest and most effective way that you can assure yourself that you're not going to get pregnant. What you do is you take this aspirin, just one. You simply take it, put it between your knees, and hold it there with your knees. Now, if you can do that, I guarantee you won't get pregnant. However, it is only 99 not what 99 percent effective because occasionally they do stand up and bend over how do i crop this screenshot bet meddler bet <laughs> meddler that's what i was gonna say <laughs> let's switch it around a little bit bit meddler so i think that about covers it i just wanted to bring up that one article about weird people in hollywood yes uh go ahead read it off real quick Midler continued speaking out against the anti-choice on Friday. This isn't about gun speech, money, or war. It's about women, their lives, their bodies, and their... Autonomy. Autonomy, she wrote. Oh, jeez. Wow. That's what allowed the court to do shoddy work with careless disregard because who's going to stop it? She's annoying. And, oh, wait, let's go on for a moment. Wait, she continues here, on. That they only did the thing in the dead of night without care or effort. And it says because they believe women are so used to being 
uh, gaslit that, of course, they'll just tolerate it, Midler's added. All right, well, if they did in the dead of night, well, let's see what time was that. Oh, that was in the morning. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. They signed that in the morning. Man. And the only thing they're uh, really upset about is the fact that the Supreme Court, because this went up to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court overturned the suit and said Texas has a right to this abortion law. It meets all the criteria. So, it is constitutional. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to say it's not constitutional. Right. Where Supreme, the Supreme Court's already ruled on Essentially it. eliminating the rights of Roe versus Wade, the bill prohibits abortions after six weeks of pregnancy, which is before most people know they're pregnant. I'm sorry. Um, I, have, uh, I have four what? children. Uh, Billy here has uh, two. Mm -hmm. And I think if you don't know you're pregnant, like, there's a problem. Exactly. Because most women know within the first month. Oh, yeah. Like, they're, everything's going haywire. Like, right. They're feeling sick all the time. I know, I knew uh, a couple gals that uh, told me that they were pregnant. They told me that they knew within 72 hours. Most women do. It's like they can feel it. Yeah. They can feel the change in their body. Mm-hmm. They know something's wrong. And frankly, wrong. if you're out there having unprotected intercourses <laughs> with multiple people, shouldn't you be going to get things like that checked all the time? People get checked for diseases. Why aren't you checking for anything else? Oh, right. Exactly. You should know right. one way or the other. And how, how many free clinics are there around, especially the bigger yeah. cities? Like, Oh, yeah. They got multiple in the, in the cities. And there's like different cr Christian pregnancy centers that offer right. free help and stuff like that. Right. And a lot of them even have their own little, uh, what do they call it? Ultrasound machine. Yeah. You know, they're not Try all super you know. high tech or whatever. No, but they can t do an ultrasound, see whether or not you are pregnant. Yeah. And you can tell. The, you, they'll, they can tell when, when that thing is the size of a peanut. Yep. You can see it. It's there. Oh, yeah. Well, not only that, but most women experience symptoms of some kind. And if they're close with a partner, sometimes the, the men get the, <laughs> the men get what is known as sympathy, sympathy sim symptoms. Yes, yeah, sympathy symptoms, and it's for pregnancy. And I know I, with my youngest son, I went ahead and had symptoms for chocolate covered cherries and barbecued chips. I had a friend that, when his wife was pregnant, uh -huh. he got like all the weird symptoms. Oh, you know, wow. She got the backache and right. like, tired and. Oh, yeah. And that was her, one of her first clues was she was feeling tired. Of course, she already had like three kids. But even with the first ones, yeah. she was like, something's off, you know? Right. But when she was pregnant with their son, he got all the symptoms as far as like the, <laughs> like, the weird cravings. He's like, do I right. eat pickles with chocolate? <laughs> like craving it. Oh, wow. He had the morning sickness. Like, <laughs> like See, I got all the weird stuff. All the way up until uh, the time she went into labor, I had these symptoms. All the way up, uh, when she did go into labor, I knew she was going into labor before she did. I woke up, my back was all hurting and everything else, and it was thumping. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, I don't know if I can go to work today. My back hurts so bad. She goes, well, go to work. It'll be fine. You know, I'll be back. You'll be back before you know it. And I was like, yeah. But still, I, I, if anything happens, you let me know. She goes, I will, but nothing's going to happen. I go to work. I'm at work for the first 45 minutes. All of a sudden, I get a call on the radio. It's her. She says uh, she's having uh, contractions. Her water broke. And she needs to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So I... You know, I knew before she gave birth that she was getting ready to give birth. And my son and I, we have such a connection. Right. We do. And we respect one another. And that's, and that's a good thing. Mm hmm And that's what you have to do with your kids. Going back to the getting proper therapy after traumatic events that caused a pregnancy. Right. If they were helped through that process that happens mentally when you go through any kind of trauma, but especially right. that type of trauma. Get proper mental help, proper analysis of what if. Yeah, and then get medical. And then 
you, you know, can get medically tested to see whether or not you are pregnant. Mm-hmm. Make a decision well, then. And, yeah, and, and, and that it's way up then to, they can make a decision right. then whether or not they want to right. keep it or not. But if there's nothing wrong with the baby, that's where I have a problem. Right. With Even with traumatic events. I mean, if she mentally, literally was, there was no way she could take it. Like she was suicidal. Right. To the point where she was trying to kill herself. Or like if she was inflicting pain upon herself or on her stomach area to be rid of the baby and there was like serious mental things going right, on right. and it was a danger to her and the baby that I think should fall under something like this where right. it says if it's a danger, a danger, if it's a mental or mental or physical, mental danger. or physical. But if there's nothing wrong with the baby and right. she is mentally capable and stable and she's not going nuts, that baby is wanted somewhere. Yeah. How many people cannot have a baby? Me. I, I know you, well, <laughs> but you and I know plenty of women that can't have babies. Right. Or like, there's women out there that, families that want a little girl, or they want a little boy, and the one time they get pregnant with that one, they lose it. That happened to somebody that was very close to me. Yeah. And that was really hard on her. Yeah, it was. Um. So, there are things like that, but where, you know, and then she turned around and had another baby a few years later, several years later actually, but... It was, again, a boy. She never got that little baby girl she wanted. Oh, man. So how many women out there would adopt because of reasons like that? Right. And it's not because, hey, they're they're picky, they're particular. It's that they know that that child, they could do everything in their power to give everything to that child, to raise Mm -hmm. that child in the best environment that they know how, and to love that child unconditionally. And these are these people that are ranting and raving about abortion and that it that it, it, you it, need to you know abortion yeah what, what is it uh my body my choice right oh but that doesn't qualify for me when i don't want experimental liquids in my arm right moving on moving, moving on. on for educational purposes only indeed all about good education that's right but there's a lot of those that are the same ones that are like like that one page that you showed from the texas tribune you know, it said there's a, a protest out there against the abortion law. A lot of them are the ones that are pro gay couples and all of that, which is, that's fine. You know, yeah, what, that's what people fine. do in their bedroom is none of my business. That's right. What I do in my bedroom is sure ain't you know, your business. Exactly. Anyway. <laughs> Get back in the room. Anyway. <laughs> Somebody get the cane. <laughs> Throw a tomato or something. Cut. <laughs> No, uh, how many couples like that out there would want to give that baby a good life? Yeah. You know, the ones that are stable in the head. You know, we, we also need new psychoanalysis people because there's so many, like, woke... Leftists. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you had an idea earlier that I liked. Uh-oh. A challenge. Oh, yes. A challenge for our viewers and listeners, whether you're subscribed or not. And if you're not subscribed, you really should. Cause we uh, try to produce quality content every week. And, and if he, you have any suggestions or comments, just let us know. Yeah. So the challenge is to post your views. Publicly. Online, whether it's YouTube. We, we, there is a Twitter, Oregon State whatever, Trooper in Bend, Oregon that did this. He publicly did a video yep. of his views. That's what brought it up. And that uh, he would not uh, uh, enforce Kate Brown, hire Heil Hitler. Kate I'm Brown. linked to that guy, too. It's, Are like, you? it's like seven degrees to Kevin Bacon type thing. Oh, wow. But I'm linked to him through people. Like, I know who he is. Oh, okay, that's cool. And I want to say I am very, very proud of him. In fact, yes. do we have... This show supports officers like that this show supports firefighters that do the same thing this show supports any american that's going to stand up for american values if you're here and you're not uh listening to uh what you want to hear i'm sorry but you're going to hear the truth all right so we got news channel 21 bend oregon an oregon state police trooper in bend has been placed on paid administrative leave we're posting a video on Instagram in which he says he will refuse to comply with Governor Kate Brown's vaccine mandate and decrees unlawful orders that threaten Oregonians' livelihoods, his attorney said Thursday night. I have personal and religious reasons 
as to why I will not take the vaccine, but also the freedom not to, said the trooper, who Portland attorney Dan Thinnell confirmed to News Channel 21 that Zachary Cowing, 29, an eight-year OSP trooper assigned to the Bend office. Cowing posted a two-minute, 35-second video about a week ago on his Instagram account, and this was posted on the 2nd, where he refers to himself as a pro-choice life and pro-freedom with a Save Oregon logo over the U.S. flag. So I want to send a shout-out to this guy because that is amazing. And it takes a lot of guts to put your views out there, especially for somebody in his position. Right. Knowing that he could lose his job over this. Right. Because some but Nazi in yeah, it, I mean, said, this is fasc are orders. fascist orders. Mm -hmm. And he's taking the Nuremberg trial seriously. Right. He refuses to comply and with orders that he knows him, that he is tip wrong. my hat to him, all of that, because that took guts. Right. And, and I, the I challenge say, for my us. My heart is with you. My thoughts are with you. And I, I don't pray like some people pray, but I, <laughs> you know, pray for him and his family because right. that took a lot of guts. So that was talking about that was what led to the idea of the challenge. Right. And Everyone the, should post their views. Right. I mean, it, Either it, it, in the comment time. sections, or you can post a video and include a link. And if we use your video in an upcoming episode, we'll go ahead and contact you prior. Mm -hmm. To make sure it's okay to use your clip. I think the more things like this that happen, the better chance we have of standing against this crazy nonsense that's going on. Exactly. And you can always get in touch with us or send the videos to Uncommon Sense 42020 at gmail.com. All right, I think that wraps it up. That wraps it up. It was a good night, good discussion. I think... Uh, Education is the key here for tonight, and question what the you know media tries to spin on it. They put their those words in there that it was the the most whatever. They always put emotional content. Right, their own emotional opinions. Emotional wording. They tried to react, invoke an emotional response mm -hmm. from the readers or the viewers. Well, here's an emotional response for you. Get real. Signing out. Have a good one, everyone. What must be what? Damn it, Billy. Give me back my liquor.